Chrysanthemums are a crop that's commonly grown this time of year and beautiful fall colors, the big range of colors really common to find in a lot of greenhouses and garden centers. But there's a disease that we're finding in New York occasionally, uh, very serious because it's a regulated pest and it's chrysanthemum white rust. Brian, can you tell me how you would identify or how a grower might look or how they would scout for chrysanthemum white rust and what they're looking for? Yeah, it's not one of those diseases that's very obvious, so it does take a little bit of scouting in order to find it. And you do want to catch it in the early stages because then you could treat for it. So uh, a grower would be looking at the leaves, the lower leaves in the canopy, uh, taking a close look at the upper leaf surface, and there you might see a little bit of uh, discoloration, a little bit of a whitening or yelling on the upper surface. Really where you're gonna see the symptoms that are gonna tell you that it's white rust is when you flip that leaf over, there'll be a little swelling and that'll have a tannish whitish uh, lesion and that's gonna tell us that it's chrysanthemum white rust. There's also another rust disease that chrysanthemums get also, isn't that true? Yeah, they get another rust disease and that's gonna be brown rust and that is gonna look brown or reddish brown. Okay. And then, um, so, is it a particular time of year? We tend to think of chrysanthemums in the fall, but when does the disease start? Yeah, this is a disease you really want to think about from the time you put your mums out because um, pre-treatment at this time is recommended, when, especially when the conditions get a little cooler and a little more moist um, because it's not one that you want to have sneak up on you because as you mentioned, it is regulated. So you'd look at, uh, you might take pay attention to the, sorry, <laughs> it's <clears throat> so in terms of the kinds of conditions, weather conditions, you'd expect to see it with the cooler temperatures as, as the temperatures start to drop a little and you get a little bit of rain, so you need water, do you need water on the leaf surfaces? Yeah, water is an important component for this fungus disease. It's required for that spore to germinate and enter the leaves. So uh, unfortunately, the conditions become just right just at the time the uh, mums are coming to sale. So there's not a whole lot of time to do anything about it if you do see um, the symptoms. So it's one that you really need to stay on top of and maybe treat preventatively.